Hey everybody, this is Tristan from Survival World, and today's tutorial in our Survival Knot series is on the barrel and the double barrel knot, or sometimes improperly called the blood knot, which is actually just a variation of the double fisherman's knot. The barrel knot is a really simple and common knot with a lot of different uses. It's used on fishing knots and rope as a stopper, and on really thick rope you can tie it and then actually use it as a climbing rope to climb up it. It's also handy to tie on the end of a rope to stop it from fraying, so if I tied a barrel knot nice and snug right up here I wouldn't have to worry about this rope fraying any further. And lots of rock climbers use it as well, on the back up at the end of their lines in case the belayer accidentally lets go of the root so it'll just get stuck in the hook and they won't fall to their death. So let's dive into how to actually tie this knot. So for the single barrel knot we're going to start off with our string here and we're going to focus on the end because that's normally where you're going to want your barrel knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop going around the left side and coming up underneath our rope here. So it's going over the left side, coming underneath, and what we're going to do now is we're just going to wrap it around the rope twice. Once we've wrapped it around the rope twice here, we can see we've got a nice little coil going. These two, what we're going to do is we're just going to take our end and we're going to stick it through there and just pull this rope tight. That'll give us a nice barrel knot. Now when you're tightening your knot, this end that you're going to stick through those two coils is going to determine how far from the actual end of the rope is going to be when you tie this knot nice and snug. So make sure that you uh, vary your length depending on how far you want that knot to be up the rope. For the double barrel knot is the same concept. We're going to make a loop going underneath the bottom here. We're going to do two wraps around this rope here. Like that. And the single barrel knot is just going through these two coils, like so. And then the full barrel knot is actually sticking it through that loop as well and pulling it nice and snug there. And for the full barrel knot, as you see I did it incorrectly here, you need to make sure that these loops stay parallel with each other when you're pulling it tight. So I'm going to take this knot apart and I'm going to tie it again. This time I'm going to make really sure that those uh, three little coils just stay nice and parallel when I'm getting this knot nice and snug here. So again, we're going to create the loop going around the left side and underneath. We're going to create two nice coils going around that rope we got. And with these two coils, we're going to push the end of our rope through there and through this loop we have at the end here. And we're making really sure that those three coils stay nice and parallel with each other. They don't start overlapping or getting all mixed up. And we should come out with a really good looking barrel knot. So that's how you tie the barrel knot, and that's how you tie the double barrel knot as well. Make sure to drop a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and check out our playlist that's going to pop up right here with more tutorials on how to tie these awesome knots. Thanks for watching!